Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, I really enjoyed last night. That was uh, that was fun going live. I'm going to start this video by just going over a few uh, a few things that kind of brought to my attention. Um, one of them being not so good, but uh, anyway, someone brought up that they watch uh, a whole bunch of other YouTube videos, and the sound on mine is not high enough. So I've turned the sound up up on my microphone. And hopefully that'll boost it a little bit. If it's too much, I apologise. Just put pull up with it through this video, and then uh, the next ones are even at eight. I guess I should do a trial, but you know me, too fucking lazy. I'm not, but I just I just like to do this and not do it all over again. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> another one. We had our first troll on last night, which was real good. Um, I don't know what time he come on, two, three in the morning, whatever it was. Um, and I was just going to bed actually, I've been going to bed real late um, over the holidays and uh, pointed out that I'd lost my marbles because uh, I put these three short videos together just kind of seeing how that format was going to work um, three in a row was not a great idea but he asked me if I'd lost my marbles and then all of a sudden put this three hour long video up you know and I was like well hold on a minute, it's a live stream you know, it might have been it ain't no good being five minutes long, you know, it's a live stream, it's whenever it's over. Um, that wasn't such a big deal. That was, uh, that was fine. Um, he did point out, he pointed out, out something very useful actually, was my scales that I bought only do 0 0.1 grams. I read, where I read up on it, it done 0 0.10 ounces. So I ordered the wrong ones. So um, I appreciate that, Mr. Troll. But, um, yeah, so I've ordered another set of scales. So well, they'll, they'll be here soon, um, before the end of the week. But the thing that really pissed me off was, um, he said, uh, he said about, in my video, I said that, you know, my all-day vape I've been on for two years now. No matter what I mix, I always go back to it. And he just come up and said, um, oh, you, your all-day vape, um, if you're on all day vape for two years, you can't really be that good at mixing and, all, and just a bunch of other crap. And I was, and his name was, um, oh God, do you know what? I can't remember what his name was. That's how important he is. But it was, um, he, even his name suggested that that's what he does is bounces around to other sites and just, and it's just a pain in the ass basically. So, um, I haven't banned him. He can still come in and watch this. He's probably watching this right now. Um, and I'm not too worried about it, but I just didn't want everyone to see negative comments on there that really didn't need to be on there. Just, just stupid shit. So, um, so yeah, I've made his comments um, unreadable, even by me. So if he comments, I don't know if he's allowed to comment, but um, if he does, um, no one will see it, so he can comment to himself. And I did, um, did reply. Um, I called him a troll, and. Uh, <laughs> And one of them, I said, oh, it was a live feed, asshole, or something like that. It was four o'clock in the morning. I was pissed. Um, but yeah, I like the constructive criticism. Um, I've had quite a bit, like with the sound and stuff like that. Fine, I, I'll do something about the sound. You know, um, yeah, what, whatever it takes. But um, just horse shit like that, or you're no good at mixing. Because I, I was like, I'm not going into this. You know, it's like um, my favourite desserts, cheesecake. I eat other cake. I love cupcakes and um, uh, pancake and angel food cake and all, all sorts of other desserts um, banana pudding is just fantastic um, I don't want to eat cheesecake all the time but it is my favorite and it's my go-to all the time I won't get bored of it but that doesn't mean the other cakes ain't damn good um, and yes I will eat them um, there's the proof um, love dessert and I love ice cream actually ice cream might be a little bit higher than cheesecake I don't know but it's the same kind of thing, you know, I go back to my all-day vape, um, and I do get bored of it, the all-day vape, and that's why I want these other ones in between. But hell, I'm a fucking DIY mixer. Um, of course I'm going to mix a bunch of shit. Yes, I get stuff wrong, and yes, I sometimes nail them. Um, but it ain't very often, and I can tell you what, I'm not the only one that doesn't do it very often. Go to the other sites and see how many of their recipes are bang on. How many they do in a year, which are bang on. How many of them are actually pumping out recipes? Um, not, I mean, we're all pumping recipes out, but how many of them are, are really top-notch, the ones that say, oh, that recipe by him, or this recipe by him, they're, 
you can count them on one hand for each person. So it's uh yeah, mixing's trial and error. Um, you can know your shit, but you still got to pull it together and make it all you know come together. So anyway, I'll sort of make sure I uh, got this out on the table so I can see how long we go. And we've already done six minutes. It's ridiculous. All right. So what we're gonna do? Um, come to my attention last night. Um, well, I thought about it last night. Was uh, taking screenshots of what you folks are putting up on the live feeds and I haven't done nothing about it yet so now I've done something or I'm doing something I've done one already and I was going to do them off camera and I thought well let's just make a video so banner pudding um, David Leone you said your daughter Lauren Bananas calls it banner so banner pudding um, I've made it I've done it off camera I apologize I did have to sub some things out. Um, let me tell you exactly what I've done. You'll probably know uh, what I subbed out. And do you know what? I will take screenshots of these as well. Um, banner. Oh, don't tell me this one. Oh, there it is. Like I say, I've had trouble lately. I swear I've been saving these things and I've not seen them. Okay, so what we got. Um, yeah, he had a banana. Banana Nut Bread by TFA, I think. I don't have that, so I put Banana by Flavor West at 3%. Um, Acetyl Pyrazine, pry, pyrazine um, which is by TFA at 1%. That gives it like a nutty bread feel. Um, Hazelnut by FW. I put it FE in here. It's FW. Um, that's at 1%. Because um, I think the, the Acetyl... Um, pyrazine will, will give it what it needs there and don't have to go crazy on the nut. Um, buttercream, um, I think that was, I think all your stuff was TFA and the only one I had was um, was by Flavor West. So buttercream Flavor West, um, 2%. Um, generic uh, sweetener, which I get from EC Express, which is right here, which was 2%. Seems a lot, but I'm going to go with what you said. And vanilla custard version 1 by Capella, I obviously have that. And I put that in at 4% as you um, had in your recipe. So I've mixed that up and she's right here. Now I've got, I'm doing them all in order. I've got, I don't know, 12 of these things to do. We're doing four of them right now. One I've already mixed. We're going to mix another three. So the next one is going to be by Pen in Cali. And again, I'm going to have to sub out some of these things. I, you know, I've got 200 flavors here, but I just obviously don't have everything exact. Um, so I'll do what I can and just show you what I've done. Um, oh, before I change, the, oh crap. Before I change that, let's take a, let's take a screenshot of the banana pudding. And if you don't already know, um, the screenshots are in a Dropbox folder and you can go in there. It's nearly every recipe we've done since we've been on here. Bear in mind that some of the recipes are trials. These are as well, because I don't have exactly what the other folks said, but the flavor profiles are there. Um, but yeah, remember a lot of them are trials. Um, normally if you see a lot of ingredients on there, normally they're the ones that are nailed. Um, there's four ingredients and less and are normally ones that are just trials in front of you folks. So, you know, bear in mind they're not all gonna be brilliant. But what I'm gonna do is, is the tried and tested ones, I'm gonna put in another Dropbox folder. I'll start that, I don't know, this week sometime. Or, or probably in a couple of weeks when I get a couple more nailed. Um, which I'm working on right now. Drink, drink, drink. So, uh, all right, let's get pennies. Also, we started up a Facebook page last night. Um, join our live feed, we made it. And I will drop the uh, link to that underneath this video as well. Um, penny, pen in Calais blueberry is what I called it because um, that's what's in it um, okay um, flavor west sweet cream is only 0.18 percent um, marshmallow by flavor art i think she may have had tfa um, is 15 percent that's one hell of a lot but i am not questioning them i'm going to put them together and i've probably learned something myself of course tfa's marshmallow I've got toasted marshmallow by TFA, but I don't have their marshmallow. Do you know what? I have another marshmallow as well. I should have thought about that. I have one by Flavor West. Hmm. 
probably should have considered that as well. There's one. Of course, here we go. We take up a whole bunch of time trying to find shit. Maybe this one would be a bit more suited. Do you know what? It might. Although the flavour art one's not got a No, we'll go flavor art. Let's stay with what we got. <coughs> Let's go flavor art. There's 15% blueberry by Flavor West, which I do have, which I just mixed with myself in one of my uh, my own mixes. Um, let's get the sweet cream. Where are you? Should be, there we go. Oh, I've got just a couple of drops left in there. And. Uh, Bavarian cream by TFA. I don't have their actual just flat Bavarian cream. I have their DX Bavarian cream, which I think is um, the diacetyl has been taken out of it. I guess is what it is. It's uh, look at the color of that now. Wow. And okay, and that's a um, 0.45 percent. Uh, the blueberry, sorry if I didn't say, is at 3.6 percent. We're going to mix that one right now. I am going to take a screenshot. All right, we're just doing 10 mil. Okay, we've got what I want right there. We've got our ingredients right here. It's one, two, three, four ingredients. Oops, knock everything over. All right, let's start with 7.8 mil of VG. And I'll come back on either in the live feeds or in another video, we will taste these. Um, Give them about a week, so maybe this weekend we'll do uh, we'll do a taste test in the live feeds. We've probably got like seven or eight flavors to taste now, so it'd be good to get them out the way then. Uh, then you can ask questions and different stuff, and maybe other people can chime in and say, "Oh, you know, what about adding a bit of this?" And uh, the sweet cream comes out at 0.0, .0 drops, <laughs> uh, mil. Sorry, if it comes out as one drop, which makes sense. Come on, have I got I've got one drop in there? There we go. Just I wonder if you got that right. I don't know. I wonder if it's supposed to be 1.8. Just 0.18 doesn't sound right. I'm gonna go with what you had on there. That's exactly what you had, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Marshmallow 45 drops. Blueberry, this one's by Flavor West, I can't remember if you had TFA or Flavor West, but this is the one I got, and 3.6% is 11 drops, you know what, that doesn't quite sound right, it is, oh well, of course I'm doing, I'm doing 10 mil, not 15. All right, so that can go back here. And Bavarian cream is just got it as one drop. I'm going to put two drops in, so it's double the amount of the sweet cream. Because I bet it's like 1.7 drops or something like that is what it probably is. And we'll put some uh, nicotine in. I don't have a lot of nicotine left in this bottle, and I'm not doing a transfer right now. That's something I do like to do around the sink, where I uh, I pick it up with a with a dropper and drop it into that bottle. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I've got my new throffer here, the Norpro, with the end on it that goes into a side like uh, one of these little bottles. It's a 10 mil bottle. What I do is just turn it up and down a couple of times, give it a little shake, just make sure that some of the flavour has gone to the bottom of the bottle. Then I'll take it off. I guess you don't need to do that. I think the frother. Are to do, do that job as well but this thing's awesome look at the uh, color of it right now look, you can see I'll put something red behind it I'm sure you can see that through the bottle so I thought you could 
in and watch it after 20 seconds of this. This thing's awesome. Wish I'd got this just a long time ago. Didn't know something like this existed. I knew there was throffers and stuff like that, but not one that could go inside a little bottle like this. But it's the Norpro Deluxe Cordless Mini Mixer. Um, it's a five piece set. It's the, uh, obviously the main bit that holds the batteries and then four ends. Um, cost me about $6.50 from Amazon. If you've got Amazon Prime, there's a free two day shipping on it. Actually, I'd had to get something else with this because it was didn't come up to... They couldn't ship this because it wasn't um, economically viable, obviously. Uh, okay, well, now look at it. You ain't seeing nothing through there. All you see is a shadow. It's really good. Oh, crap. It's in there. I called it. Nothing come out. Okay, so this is... I'm just going to call it... Pen. Well, no, I need to call it what it is. Penning Cali Blueberry, so I can find it again. Coming up to 17 minutes, I'm going to restart the camera in a second. Penning Cali Blueberry. And that was done on the second, and it's three milligrams. There it goes. I've got the pina colada as well, Penny. If you just in case you didn't see my uh, my other video, the pina colada, um, I nailed it straight away. I'm sure it can be made better, but um, I've surprised myself. It tastes just like pina colada. Next one is Chris sixty two. Um, let's get. Chris 62 up on here. Good. Oh, I'm going to start this again. Chris 62 bubble gum. I'll restart this and I'll also grab my bubble gum, which is a Loran product. Um, be back, right back. Yeah. Hey folks, I'm back. Got my bubble gum. And the phone's just uh, gone off on me. Did I bring? No, I haven't brought up Chris 62s yet. Oh god, now I've gone on the planet of the vapes. Um, here we go. Chris. How do you spell Chris? Just fucking with you, obvious my name. Um, Alright, here we go. This bubble gum was by another manufacturer, I don't remember who. But the only one I have, I'm not a huge bubble gum fan, um, is Lorraine's bubble gum, which I picked up and tried one time. And it, uh, it smells just like bubble gum you can see how much i've used of it look this is just a little one dram i've probably used like five drops of this and that was because my daughter helped me mix one day and she picked that one out uh black currant by flavor art i don't think i have that i'm picking these out as i go i could have got them ready but uh, we're not rushing our videos anymore right Black Current by Flavor Express is what I'm going to have to have, which is one that's um, packaged by eSig Express, um, I believe. Um, Flavor West red, red Licorice, you would think I wouldn't have that, wouldn't you? Well, you'd be wrong. I got Red Licorice and Black Licorice by Flavor West, so we got that one. Um, FW Blackberry, I don't, I know I don't have a Blackberry. Um, I'm going to have to use, I've got got the black currant I've got blueberry there's something else I have on that on that line sorry bear with me here I will find something I've got another black currant do you know what maybe I'll double up the black currant blackberry and black currant Black currants by two different manufacturers, so we will get something a little different. So I don't have the blackberry. I have black currant by Flavor West and Flavor Express. And you have blackberry by Flavor Art. So I apologise there. I've just got to try and sub this out with something and try and get something made in the neighbourhood of what you've got. All right, black currant by F W. 
Nope. Dickhead by Flavor. Flavor Express. Okay, which you can get from Eastig Express. And then we've got 1% um, of uh, sweetener. He has sweetener by TFA, and that could be completely different than what I've got here. Um, if it is, if TFA sweetener is like an ethyl model, if that's what it is, um, I would have thought it would just say ethyl model. They probably just got a sweetener like this, which is um, like a sucralose. Um, this one I'm going to use is just a sweetener. And personally, myself with the black currant and the black berry and all that stuff, um, I would go with ethyl model, ethyl model, whatever you want to call it. But we're going to go with um, what Molly's put down here. Or close to it anyway oh let's take a screenshot and if you guys have got what he had in the first place then good follow what's on here um, well you won't be able to see his now will you you just have to follow what's on here and sub it out for what you've got uh, <clears throat> okay let's, uh, let's start mixing now, did I put down everything I needed up there? Yes, I did. Calculate 8.6 mil of uh, um, VG. This is a 90-10 mix, 90% VG, 10% um, PG. I'm only putting, you know, you're probably looking at me saying, well, why aren't you putting in uh, 9 nine mil of vg you're not and you're putting eight what you're putting in 8.6 when you're putting in nine because the nicotine is also vg so that makes up the rest of it if the nicotine was uh pg then it would be a different matter it would be more like a well it'd be an 86 14 if i had pg nicotine uh the round bubble gum we've got nine drops which is quite a lot for this shit I think this dropper will fit in there. Yes, it will. I have got droppers for these little bottles, but I'm, they're all in use. Um, anise, lemon, lime, um, some of the very strong flavors, peppermint, spearmint. Um, I leave them in there so it doesn't taint any of the other stuff I've got. That dropper stays with those bottles. Okay, so there's our bubble gum. Uh, black currant flavor west which is right here um, we are putting eight drops oh I put in nine by accident damn I have to throw it away right um oh, it went out of order but that's fine this one smells good Mm, smells very candy like um, black currant by flavor express this was subbing out the blackberries I don't have it so I put two black currants in and not a black currant and a blackberry just because I don't have it this one is red licorice this is what I liked about this recipe it's got red licorice and it's going to be really candy like and six drops Okay, and sweetener, we've got three drops of sweetener. Give this one a good shake. Oh, I've got to be careful, I don't want to... Do you know what, this is a really thick stuff as well, and I don't have nothing to clean this out with. It's the only dropper I got. Well, if I squeeze the dropper, then let go of it. Oh, no, I'm still going to... Oh, well, whatever's left in here will have to be thrown out. Whatever's left in the dropper will be thrown out, so I don't taint the the sweetener. All right, one, two, three. All right, the rest of it I'll pour right onto here. I won't be needing that anymore. Okay, some nicotine, and we're done. I've already shook the nicotine over and over and over again in the last 30 minutes, so I'm not going to shake it again. If it was PG, I'd shake it again. But with it being VG, it's holding up whatever's in there. And it's only a tiny amount left in there now. Um, okay, let's give her a throff. 
and I did wipe the throffer off after uh, I've done the last mix. I don't know if you know this. I like the colour of it. Bubble gum has uh, got a very uh, distinct colour to it. I'm guessing they add a colour into it to make it look like that. Which I'm not a huge fan of, but I guess it gives you juice uh, some colour. Okay. And then while I'm doing to clean this thing off, I've got a piece of tissue here, and I put the forks with a piece of tissue in between them, wrap over the tissue, and pull them out. There's another one done. This is Chris 62 bubble gum. Here with the pen. Nice. Okay, there's that one. So we've done two so far. We've got a third one to do, and this third one was uh, a request. It wasn't given a recipe, so I kind of made one up real quick. And it was real quick. It was, um, it was it by Callum. Callum asked for a Kinder, Kinder Bueno. Um, which is, uh, if you know those Kinder surprises that you get in England and in Europe, little Kinder eggs and you break them open. They're like a chocolate shell. Chocolate on the outside with like this creamy white kind of chocolate on the inside. So it's like two different chocolates. And then you break it open, there's an egg inside, and you break that open, and there's, sorry, the egg is plastic, and you break it open, there's a toy in there. I think they stopped doing them, because some kid tripped on a toy or something else, or the EU said it, they wasn't, uh, they wasn't safe, or some crap like that. No. Oh. Come on, find it, find it. Callum. All right, and load. This is a real simple recipe. It's basically a hazelnut chocolate, but it's a creamy hazelnut chocolate. So we've got hazelnut, milk chocolate, and cream. And you know what? The cream... Oh, for some reason I didn't save the cream. It's, we're going to use Vienna cream. Just because I don't use it very often. And the reason I don't is because it's got a very strong chemically ta chemical taste. Um... And I've talked about it online on some of the forums about how they're getting on with this because I don't, um, I just don't want to use it. And I've had it sat here for so long. It was everyone raved about it, so I bought a thirty ml bottle. It's actually starting to lose its colour a bit. But I bought another bottle as well. I hope maybe throw that one out and get the smaller one. Um, I'll use the smaller one today and make sure we get a good. Uh, he says. Got it somewhere. I must have. I must have got it in there. Well, we are using this one then. It's just too much for me to reach in that box and get it. Oh, uh, yeah, we we'll use that one. It's, it still smells the same. They both smell the same. I've got Catalan cream as well, which you know what? Maybe a better choice. Mm. Oh, there's the Vienna cream right there. There's the new one. All right, we're going to go with Vienna cream out of a new bottle. And it just smells chemical. That's all I smell. So I'm going to treat this one different. I'm going to let it breathe for a day. So I'm going to leave the top off for 24 hours, then put the top back on and then let it steep for at least a week before I try it and try and get that. They tell me once it's steeped for a week or over, um, it really comes into its own and it's just a great cream. But... Um, I'm very skeptical about it but if everyone says it is surely it's got to be and everyone raves about it it's got great um reviews okay so let's take a shot of this all right let's mix this one up we're doing hazelnut by flavor west 
We're doing milk chocolate by TFA. And we're doing Vienna cream by Flavor Art. Um, pretty simple, just three flavors. It, the flavor profile is a creamy hazelnut chocolate. So I've got cream, hazelnut, chocolate. I don't see where I need to. I could put like a filler in there like marshmallow, make it a bit sweeter with some cotton candy and stuff like that. But I'm not. I'm just going to leave it just like that and then we'll change it as it needs to be um, after we taste it. Okay, so let's uh, go, ahead, oh, go ahead and mix this one up. 8.7. Let's see, it's another 90-10 mix. Six drops of hazelnut. Could probably even use more than that. Mm. It's a good hazelnut. It's certainly powerful in you. Sometimes good to taste them like that just to see what they are. Uh, milk chocolate by TFA. What nine drops? The chocolate needs to be the star. The other two, you know, the cream is just to help the the feel of it. That's why I um, went for Vienna cream. I was going to go fresh cream. I thought no, we'll we're, we're mix we're mix it up a little bit, mix it up, and um, and go with a different cream that we haven't used. So uh, I'm gonna try Vienna cream, and if it still is chemically after that, I'll probably throw out what I've got and not use it again. But it's got to be different. Everyone says it is. It's everyone can't be wrong, or all the people that use it can't be wrong. They're all accomplished mixers. And a lot of people said, oh, you've got a bad batch. So what I've done, I ordered another one like six months later and it came and it's exactly the same. And then I said, no, it's exactly the same. And then someone said, yeah, that's, that is kind of what it smells like out of the bottle. And um, yeah, so that's where we're going to go through. I think um, before I'd never steeped it long enough the last time I used it, which was a while ago. I always wondered how long flavorings last for. I mean, with a juice itself, I say like six months after that. If I was mixing this, say I mix this right now and I forget about it in a drawer. If it's um, over six months old, I normally just throw it out. It's something happens after steeping that long. That you, if it's the best juice in the world, I ain't steeping something else for six months to vape it again. So, um, yeah, normally I throw them out. But I wonder with the concentrates, what the uh, shelf life is on some of them. Because I can see a few of mine are really changing colour. Only, I don't know, five or six of them. The one Vienna cream I have, that first one I bought, is probably like a year and a half old. So, you know, when you've got 200 flavours, you just don't get through them quick enough. Except for the ones I use for my all-day vape, obviously, they don't, they don't last long enough. Um, but yeah, if you know the answer to that, or you've got some idea, um, let me know. I, I think I asked it once on the forums and never really got an answer and it the whole thread went off on another tangent and uh, never did get my answer. So, or the answer I was looking for. Oh, when I was mixing the first mix before I started the video, I set the alarm off. Vaping. I've got the uh, blue bear in here, it's my new flavour. And I've got Apple Candy version 2 and Blue Bear version 2. These are two that I'm working on off camera. I thought it'd be great. We, I mix in front of you all the time and just put stuff together. I'm still going to carry on doing that. But behind the scenes, I'm going to get some of these ones where I've, I really like the flavor combination and tweak them and get them just right. And then come back and say, guys, 
you need to try this and get you to mix it and you know it's good um or i think it is my taste buds say it is but i'll get it just just right um that way we're not all just throwing shit together and some of it doesn't work we're we're doing stuff that um does work you know i want to try and make a cup like those two you know make them taste like a premium juice Well, we're about to run out of time. I think I'll get this. Uh, what's, what's this one? Callum Kinder. Well, I say we run out of time. It's just my camera reset. So it turned itself off in a second. Um, coming up to uh, 19 minutes since I reset it. So we're right up near the end. Anyway, folks, thanks for uh, joining me again. Um, look underneath Facebook uh, Facebook link Dropbox link for all the recipes um, go and join the Facebook um, great to see you there we see what each other looks like and uh, if you go to my page don't judge me <laughs> um, I don't even put down what I work for on there I've got I, I put down what I work for my photography thing <coughs> because I can't have work associated with the shit that I post um, anyway before I cough the hell out of the place, thanks for joining me, folks, and I'll see you real soon.